Well, we're out on uh, Windermere, paddling along. There's uh, me and Adam. Adam's up front, and um, it's, uh, it's a lovely day. What uh, what is there to say, really? We've got um, we've got a little pike lure out the back, plodding along. Just a little one, so we might catch a big perch. Um, the lake's almost flat calm. I've seen it. I've seen it flatter, but you know, for for the 23rd of February, it's quite nice. We've uh, just left off from White Cross Bay, and uh, we're going to have uh, an overnight. We don't know if Adam sits still. The boat won't rock around as much, but um, we're going to have an overnight somewhere on on the lake. I don't know quite where yet. We're going to head up Bray Bay River, up the river mouth. Um, just more for curiosity than anything. And we don't know whether to come back along and camp on the... Um, west shore of the lake or possibly on an island so we might go for the island option it keeps us out of the way of everybody then doesn't it so yeah that's uh, that's our plan and hopefully this little video won't be too long uh, there's Adam in his nice orange Halley Hansen suit in case he falls in. Don't want him uh, getting lost out here. His mum won't be best pleased. Coming up now to uh, Brockhall Visitors Centre, run by the National Trust. We're uh, paddling past Brockhall and um, I haven't seen any fish jump yet but um, the lake is flat calm. It's actually got quieter. The, the, the lake's flattened off a little bit more. The wind's dropped off. Um, it has been cold but I think temperatures today uh, uh, mid to high teens centigrade that is so um, it's quite a warm day um, obviously still got my hat on I'll probably end up losing that shortly but um, it, it, it's, it's, it's warm now it's warm it's nice there's, uh, there's a couple of little uh, a couple of little boats plodding about, not really doing much. Little higher boats. Um, we've got a um, ration pack, MOD ration pack, and we'll have a look at that later when we stop. So leave it there, Adam, and we'll uh, we'll reveal all. Um, Number 17, British Army ration pack, uh, MOD meal deal. I don't know, yeah. Drink drink sandwich and a snack, you know, one of them spa meal deals sort of thing. Um, <laughs> what are you laughing at? Uh, yeah, it's, um, I don't know what's in it, I can't remember. Bought it from Surplus Army Store. Um, it had 
couple of months left on it and it was 10 quid. So for £10 I thought uh, we can't go wrong. So and how many did you get? Did you get three? We bought three in the end, yeah. I've already had one. I think we had number 14, which was quite nice. It was, you know, everything was in it, so we know what's in them, we know what to expect. But um, we will uh, obviously have a look at that later. We've got all our kit with us. What have we got? We've got winter bags because it's going to get down to. It's going to get down to about 5 or 6 degrees tonight, and um, Adam, being the big girl that he is, we don't want him getting cold. And uh, to be honest, I don't want to be getting cold either. Um, we've got the cheap tent. It's just a, a little cheap four-man tent that I bought last year. Um, the idea was to leave it in the back of the Land Rover, um, but, no, it'll be longer than last year, I've probably had it about three years, I think. I'm lying to you all, lying to everybody. I've had it about three years. I had it in the back of the Land Rover and we've used it twice. Um, and the Land Rover has since gone to the big car park in the sky. Um, it uh, it made its final journey and um, snapped in half. Funnily enough, um, along with other issues, but that was that was the 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 major um, finishing point. I think was the fact that it snapped. Right. Unfortunately, we've had to go to um, GoPro because um, the uh, the camera um, wanted to go for a swim, <laughs> but pretty quickly found out it can't swim. So that's uh, that's the end of that for now. Hopefully, it'll dry out. Um, I really not holding out much hope for it. I think that's that's the end of that. I think I'm going to have to buy a new camera. All day breakfast. Beans and a rich tomato sauce with succulent pork sausages, bacon and omelette. Omelette? What it tastes like, I don't know, but it looks quite good on the picture. Uh, but these are the Wayfair um, ready to eat meals. Um, and you literally just stick it in hot water and um, eat it. That's it. Yeah. So that's that's the water on there. I've got my little gas stove on on the um, zebra pot, so I can put lid on that. Um, windbreak round. So we've got that one, and we've got um, meatballs in pasta. Uh, beef beet balls in Italian style, tomato sauce oh, and pasta. Yeah. So that, and then uh, once we've got that, we've got um, chocolate pudding and um, sticky toffee pudding. And this is lunch. You know, this this is what we brought for lunch. We've got a um, um, MRE uh, ration pack. Uh, sat in the canoe and that's going to be for later when we get to camp we can set that up and get a little fire going. We're only cooking on this now for dinner and then we're going to have our um, our evening meal and everything else, brews and whatnot, are all going to be done on the fire later. So yeah, that's I'm going to now chuck, chuck that in there. There's Adam. There's some of the kit. My phone's now ringing. So, right, dinner, dinner's now ready. It only takes about five, ten minutes. Um, it looks good. That's the the meatball and pasta in tomato sauce, which is literally what it says on the tin or packet in this case. Um, the all-day breakfast, which Adam's gone for. Um, 
it's sausage and beans it's probably got egg and bits in but it's not very uh, it's nice but it's all just mixed together it's not anything better right there you go that's all it is is uh, just uh, cook, cook the packets in hot water and uh, obviously boiled that up on there and we had them in that when it was boiling on there so that in there on there um, now it's pudding and the water's hot so we've just stuffed them in and let them warm up that way whilst we were eating that so they should be ready Adam just keeps plodding around all over don't know what he's doing but yeah we'll uh, have some lunch and then get back on the water sounds like a good idea I think we're now here at Brede River Mouth which we're gonna go and investigate up that way and we've come down there's Ambleside there or Watershead Waterhead area and that bit of grass just over there is where we had dinner so we're uh, I'm gonna head up All right you probably can't see it very well on here but there is a herring right there in the reeds there's a heron right there if we head towards it it'll probably fly away but at least you'll be able to see it a bit better maybe we just keep going there it is it's just moving now it's uh, There. Good, it means there's fish in this water. It's not flown away though. Oh, oh there it goes. Yeah, there are a big old bird of herons. Uh. But we are now heading up the Brave River. Um, going against the current at the moment um, obviously it runs back down into Windermere but all this land here is all private and all that land there is private so you can't actually get to this bit of the river without being on a canoe or some sort of boat but back there on the corner where that there's a little house there on the corner with a boat house underneath it, bit of a bungalow. It's really, really shallow. So you wouldn't get through in a normal boat. It would have to be a canoe or or something, rowboat maybe. But there's a bit of an odd set of steps going up there. Don't know what they're for. Well, we're now floating back down. We went up to where that big house is up there um, but the rapid well the river just gets a bit uh, a bit too fast it narrows down there and the river gets a bit fast um, although we got up there all right I couldn't film anything up there because it was just pushing us straight back down again um, so we've uh, we've just come floating back down now and uh, it is quite nice on this river it's uh we'll have a look down this side here. You can you can see the bottom, or I can anyway. I don't know if you can make it out on that, but I can see the bottom. Um, so yeah, it, it's there's the main road. That road there goes to Grasmere, uh, not Grasmere, sorry, uh, Coniston. Coniston. That's the main road to Coniston. So we're not that far up the Bray there, but um, it was nice. It's nice enough just to paddle up and uh, have a look about. It's something I haven't done for a long time. So, yeah. So the, uh, we came down Bray there. That's the house on the corner there. And we've uh, come round to the left. And this is the, uh, the Rothay River that runs into Bray there, where that house is there. 
that's where the two meet. That's the bridge out of Ambleside, going uh, past, well, past the old rug, there's like a rug thing there that makes woolen, woolly rugs. Um, that's obviously the road out to uh, uh, Hawkside Coniston, and we've just come round here now, we're just going to go under that bridge. We've just come under there, and there's actually some people chasing us. Um, Right, we're now uh, heading back down the Bray Day, uh, Rothe even. We're heading back down the river. Um, there's a bit of a footpath runs up the side of there. Road's over that side now. We're just uh, floating back down with the with the current now. Um, so we got up. We got up as far as uh, I think we got we got as far as the council tip. If you know where we're at. You'll know where I mean. Um, so, Adam, you need to paddle. You need to paddle. So we got that far, and uh, we uh, we couldn't go any further. Could, couldn't paddle against it, so we turned around and came back. All right, and we're on this little spit of land that sticks out. Uh, just yeah, we've. Uh, we came off the river and the wind was absolutely blowing like hell so we've had to we had to pedal hard against the wind it wasn't forecast to be windy today but it, it's ended up it's ended up being really really windy um, but uh, that's uh, that's where we came from from there and we've had to paddle right round and um, <laughs> there's Dickhead. There's uh, there's Ambleside. There and uh, Lowood is there. See if we can get there. But we'll come around here, and we're just on this little bit, just jutted out. Look, it just sort of sticks out there, and it goes around there. Um, that's uh, Pullwood Bay. There. What? So we're uh, we're just coming around. There's uh, uh, a group of um, shags on them rocks over there. There's four of them sat out that I can see from here, quite far out. But uh, the wind's really picked up, so we're uh, we're struggling, fighting against the wind here. It's been hard work. Uh, or it's going to be. So we're hoping now that we can follow right up this side of the lake and then uh, once we get up by um, Belle Isle we can go around the back of Belle Isle and it should be it should be sheltered around there but we're probably looking we're probably looking three or four miles to get there but we've just spent what time is it? It's half past two we got onto the river at one o'clock so we've just spent a good hour and a half messing about on the river as they say uh, met a few nice people up on the river
Right, we managed to haul the big ass canoe up onto this beach. There's a uh, uh, Tommy Home Wildlife Trust are doing some conservation on there. So we'll come round. That's back of Belle Isle, you can see there. And that's where we've just, we just carried the boat from there, other side of that tree. Um, and carried it up here because uh, we were going to come in here but it's just a bit thick and we wanted the thicker coverage just for a bit of shelter that's where we're going to put the tent right there or we'll probably just have a little bit of a fire there where that stick is when we put the canoe like that just as a bit of a windbreak so it just protects us as the winds coming from the south up the lake so it's good well we're out on the out lake again there's uh, the other side of Belle Isle we were on the other side of that camping unfortunately we've had lots of camera issues um, but if I come around like that you can see oh Shag's setting off there there's uh, Big Adam all nice and refreshed after his uh, week his, his overnight camp and uh, there is land somewhere there but, be buggered where we've just come from there where you can see the tree and the red boys. But that's just disappearing now. And we don't know where to cut across at because we don't want to cut across and end up in no, one, no man's land. So we'll just carry on a little bit. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to see land soon. Because we can't go on there, that's Belle Isle, that's private, so we're not allowed on there. So uh, we'll uh, be going across there somewhere shortly. But there's just no sign of land. It'll be alright. Morning, Adam. Well. That's the fog burning off there now. Sun's come out. Uh, you can just see the top of the mountain popping out. Bit of fog there where the sun's not quite got to yet. There's a bit of a hill. A bit of a hill just over there, so it's just not got to that bit yet. But it's sort of burning it off as it goes. Well, it's quite weird looking. But where we're at now is fog free. Um, we'll just keep plodding on and we'll get back. And. Uh, that's it really, we'll just keep keep paddling. But yeah, once we get into that sun, once we get past this bit of a bit of a ridge here, once we get over there and back into the sun, because we were in the sun over there a minute ago, and uh, we'll warm up. But it's now it's now quarter to nine. And that fog came in at about seven o'clock this morning. So it hasn't been long couple of hours of fog. But that's all right. Right, we are... Look at me here. What the fuck, you know? Right, that's better, I think. Right, we're nearly back at the car. Um, the car is just, like, there somewhere. So, just can't quite see it. But, we're... Bit of fog there. Yeah, the fog's nearly gone now. But, um, yeah, it's quite nice over here. It's quite a nice little place. We might uh, see about doing a little camp on there next time. It's not that far from the car, so we can just have a quick, a quick jolly down. Camp on there. But it's a lovely day. And, um, like I say, we're nearly back at the car. So we're, uh, Adam's paddling like a madman because he wants to get back and get his second breakfast for the day um, so we're uh, we'll sign off here it's been a good one um, you enjoyed it Adam yeah uh, it wasn't cold last night but it wasn't warm it could have been a little bit warmer the sleeping bag I had was uh, a winter one from Aldi um, I thought I'd try it out you know but it was too tight it was a nice bag but it was too tight 
if if it had been a, if it hadn't been as tight, I think it would have been better. You know, I could have got in it better. But as it was, I was struggling to get in it, so it didn't quite work properly. Um, Adam had a, a Vanga bag, really good one. So yeah, that's it really. Um, with all the camera issues and everything else we've had, it's been a nightmare. Well, yeah, we won't mention knocking the Nikon into the river. Um, but yeah, that's that's we're nearly back, so um, we'll definitely be doing another, and uh, hopefully the camera will dry out or whatever. So, yeah. Bye.